With both President Biden and former President Donald Trump clinching their party's respective nominations, their campaigns are now taking very different approaches to reaching voters. Biden just visited five cities last week, while Trump has held only one public campaign event since mid-March. And as we mentioned, Trump is expected to spend his day in court today here in New York, while Biden heads to swing state North Carolina tomorrow. Despite his efforts, though, in some swing states like Georgia, President Biden is still trailing behind Trump in the polls. On Face the Nation, Georgia's Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock weighed in on what might be behind this. It's still relatively early in the campaign, and I can tell you as someone whose name has been on the ballot five times in less than three years, that the polls don't tell you nearly as much as the people do. I think that at the end of the day, black voters, Georgia voters, will see that this is a binary choice. And uh, the more Donald Trump talks, the better our fortunes will be. And in the end, I believe that Georgia voters are going to do for Joe Biden what they did for me. And CBS News campaign reporter Nidia Cavazos is following the latest on this story from Washington. Uh, Nidia, thanks for making time. So as for President Biden's reelection campaign, after this week's trip to North Carolina, we know that he'll now have visited all of the 2024 swing states in less than just three weeks. Is this strategy working? Good morning. The Biden and Harris administration, as we've seen, are heavily focusing on swing states. We saw it just last week with the trip with Biden uh, to Arizona and Nevada, and we're seeing it again with this week set to Biden and Harris, both set to visit North Carolina. Now, we're seeing this heavy focus because back, if we go back to 2020, we could see that Biden was in a way relying on, you know, Donald Trump hurting himself, and he could rely on being the alternative to a different being an alternative to the Trump administration. But now we're talking about very different dynamics and we're talking about critical states that have the potential to swing the elections one way or another. Now we're talking about Biden being the incumbent candidate here, but who has very low approval ratings. And when we talk about some of the swing states, in some of these, Trump still has uh, a lead over Biden. And we're, we go back to 2020 again, and in some of these states, Biden did manage to win by only a very, very, very narrow uh, margin of margin. So now we're seeing these efforts. We're seeing them heavily campaign in these states, but we're also seeing them invest resources and we're seeing this through ads. And not only are they investing in English ads, but they're also investing in Spanish ads, which also speaks to the Biden and Harris campaign's outreach efforts to Latinos to be able to court them. And this is all part of their efforts to focus on these case swing states. Now, it's not only Biden that we're seeing now campaigning. We're also seeing vice president and Harris doing her own events and focusing on particular issues that we know are going to be uh, favorable to Democrats, such as it is with the reproductive rights and also putting an end to gun violence, as we saw with her trip to Parkland, Florida this weekend. All right, Nidia, thank you.